What's up everybody? Go Burns doing the trailer breakdown for the brand new Mafia 3 trailer, One Way Road. FYI, if you want to check out the trailer yourself, it's linked below in the description section along with a really good article going into more detail regarding Mafia 3 from Games Radar. Both of those links below in the description section. I highly recommend you check both of them out. And if I miss anything in my trailer breakdown when you watch the trailer, feel free and let me know below in the comment section. But I am really excited about Mafia 3. Officially coming out October 7th this year. Uh, roughly about six months away, so it's going to be a nice long wait. But hopefully those six months will be well worth it for Hangar 13. Plenty of time for them to polish, clean up, and get the game ready to go gold. I've been a huge Mafia fan since the beginning. The original game, Mafia The City of Lost Heaven, when it came out for PC. Mafia 2, when it came out for Xbox 360. So yes, I am very jacked about Mafia 3. Speaking of the new Mafia game, let's go ahead and get into the trailer. First off, we're going to look at some screenshots of New Bordeaux featured in the trailer. Here's some of the nightlife. This, I believe, is the French Ward, a.k.a. the French Quarter in New Orleans. The city, of course, is called New Bordeaux. I love that name, by the way. It's really cool. And, of course, the sun is rising or either setting. I think it's rising in the background, and that's the church, obviously. And uh, I think that's Jackson Square, I believe. And, of course, you got Lincoln's sweet-ass muscle car driving down the streets of New Bordeaux. That is such a sexy-looking ride right there. I mean, there were a lot of really cool cars in the 60s and 70s. And, of course, another image of the French Ward at night. We got this club, this jazz and blues bar. I bet that's a lot of fun. I love jazz music, by the way. And, of course, another shot of Lincoln's muscle car driving around the French Ward during the daytime in New Bordeaux. Looks pretty cool, nice and relaxed. And, of course, at nighttime, that's when the fun happens in New Bordeaux. You got the clowns, you got the music, you got everyone drinking, having a good time in New Bordeaux down at the French Ward. Another shot during the daytime. And as you can tell, much like in real life New Orleans, Things get a lot more uh, hectic, a lot more fun at night, and it's a lot more easy going and laid back during the daytime. Here's a shot of some grass <laughs> and a water tower. This is obviously outside of New Bordeaux, out in the parish, I guess, or around the uh, swamp. Yeah, here's an image of uh, the cabin out at the swamp. I guess this might be where Lincoln Clay is hiding. Now, we're going to get into the story. I broke this up and mixed it together. It's different than the trailer. So this is earlier in the storyline where Lincoln is uh, back with uh, his friends in New Bordeaux, his family, as he calls them in the first trailer. And, of course, this is Sammy, who's kind of like a father figure to him. And the guy behind Sammy is the priest. We're going to talk about him in a little bit. But, anyways, obviously, Sammy and Lincoln have this bond, father and son thing going on, and he's obviously a very important person in Lincoln's life, who just came back from the Vietnam War. And of course, this is when the trouble starts. Sal shows up, and he's hugging, kissing Sammy, and this is not going to go too well, because uh, anyways, one of Lincoln's friends is getting stabbed. Not good at all. And this is a very, very sad situation here. Of course, most of you already know about this if you watch the first trailer. Then you have Sal over Sammy about to put him down, unfortunately. And this is where the trouble happens. So Lincoln's already shot. He's dying. But the priest runs in, obviously, with everything on fire and rescues Lincoln. We'll talk more about the priest in a second. This is obviously something out of a newspaper talking about what happened to the bar. Sammy Robinson, who was head of the Black Mob for decades, you know, the bar and him and most of his crew destroyed in the fire. And this is the aftermath of what happened to Lincoln, barely alive, left for dead, rescued by the priest. And some time actually transpires, as you can tell from the beard, the fact that, you know, he's probably out of it for a while in a coma, maybe recovering with the priest over him, watching him, taking care of him, hiding him. And now Lincoln wants revenge. He wants to make Sal pay for what he did to Sammy and all of his friends, his family. And that's his big plan. Of course, the priest is warning him about going down the one road. And that is the big premise of this trailer. So you have Lincoln setting off 
to take down Sal. And there's going to be some customization for Lincoln, not only with clothing, but it looks like with uh, hairstyles. And maybe you can keep the beard as well, even though he obviously grows it after he recovers from his coma. So it'll be interesting to see all the different customization options that we're going to have for Lincoln and Mafia 3. Obviously different clothing options as well. The iconic uh, you know, jacket that he wears at the beginning, of course, he's not wearing it right now. <laughs> then, of course, here's Sal, the main antagonist of Mafia 3. He's the big bad guy. He is the ruler of the criminal underworld in New Bordeaux. He is the boss, and he is the one responsible for the death of Sammy and the rest of the black mob. And Lincoln is going to take him down. He's going to bring him down. And I think this is Donnie. I could be wrong. It's one of Sal's henchmen. I believe this is Donnie. It could be somebody else entirely. But obviously an important member of Sal's mob. And I think this is also Donnie. I could be wrong about that. But we're going to look at an image from the August trailer for a little comparison. Because the, you know, I don't know. I Let me know below in the comment section. Is this the same person? Is this Donnie or is this some other? This is Donnie, obviously, but the other guy may not be Donnie. He may be somebody else. And this is Cassandra. So she looks a little different in this trailer as opposed to the last trailer. And here is an image of what she looked like in the first trailer. So obviously they did some changes with Cassandra from the August trailer to the April trailer. She looks a little bit different now in Mafia 3. And of course, Bark also looks different. Another one of LC's reps, his lieutenants. And we're going to show you an image in a moment of what he looks like now, as opposed to what he looked like in the August trailer. And he's obviously a sniper. He's leader of the Italian mob in Mafia 3. And uh, this is what he looked like in the Mafia 3 August trailer. So obviously a little bit of difference between Burke and Cassandra from the trailers in August till now. So they've done a little bit changing with Hangar 13. And here's some combat with Lincoln taking on some goons. Going to bash him in the face with that rifle. <laughs> it's really funny to watch. And of course he kicks this guy and he blasts him with the shotgun. It's funny as hell to see. And I'm, I look forward to actually trying out the combat mechanics in this game. Looks like a lot of fun. And of course, he's giving this guy in the cemetery his final hug. <laughs> How fitting, right? <laughs> and here's some of the uh, car mechanics here, okay? This is a guy riding with Lincoln, shooting at these uh, goons, chasing them. And uh, interesting thing about this guy, I think this is the same guy that's in the car of Lincoln. At first, I thought he was a bad guy, but I think from the shirt and the fedora, I think this guy is the same one that's in the car of Lincoln during this car chase. And look how epic that is in the background. That looks so freaking awesome. So you're going to be able to do a lot in this game. And that's one reason why you should check out that article from Games Radar. It's a very good read. It goes into a lot of detail about how different Mafia 3 is from Mafia 2. Now, Mafia 2 was a very beautiful game, but there really wasn't much to do in the city of Empire Bay. It was kind of dead. All that you really had was the story from beginning to end with Vito. By the way, I didn't see Vito in the trailer. Did you see Vito? Let me know below in the comment section after you watch the trailer. Did you see Vito? Because with the exception of this screenshot, I do not see Vito in the trailer. You see Vito, you see Burke with his pump action shotgun, you see another image of Cassandra, then of course on the other side you see the bad guys, Sal, Donnie, somebody else. I don't know what all the other guys' names are, obviously we'll find out more down the road, but another interesting thing I want to bring up before we wrap this up is that there's going to be some pre-order bonuses, the family kickback so whenever it becomes a pre-order, I don't know if it's available now. It could be for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. You're going to get three exclusive vehicles, these awesome-looking muscle cars, and, of course, that sweet-looking sports classic in the back, and three weapons. Looks like a sniper rifle, obviously a pump-action shotgun, and a Tommy gun. You cannot have a Mafia game without a Tommy gun, right? <laughs> Now, I wanted to go over some cliff notes real quick from this article from Games Radar, which you should definitely check out if you're interested in more information regarding Mafia 3. Now, apparently, failure is only death in this game. That means whenever you're doing stuff as Lincoln, when you're going into a situation, you're going to have a lot of options in order to accomplish a task, a mission, 
You can uh, go and uh, get Cassandra's help or Burke's help or Vito's help, depending on what kind of perks you have with each one, because you're going to be able to balance that out whenever you take over turf from Sal. You'll be able to distribute it to one of your lieutenants, either Burke, Cassandra, or Vito. Each one offers you a little something different, but at the same time, there are possibly consequences by showing favoritism to Vito over Cassandra or Cassandra over Burke or Burke over Cassandra. You get the idea. So it's very cool. There's a lot of strategy that's going to be going into the new Mafia game. And unlike Empire Bay, New Bordeaux is going to be very much alive, according to this article from Games Radar. So be sure and check it out. Linked below in the description section, along with the new trailer for Mafia 3, One Way Road, which is a really cool trailer, has a lot of cutscenes. A little bit of gameplay, which is what I prefer over cinematic trailers because that gives you a better idea of what the game mechanics are going to be like, along with the graphics, of course. I mean, yes, you can make a beautiful, like, cinematic trailer, just like the Mafia 3 trailer back in August, but that is not the game. It's just a trailer, so I'd rather see gameplay and actual video of what the city of New Bordeaux looks like, along with what Lincoln looks like, and what the combat, the driving mechanics look like, as opposed to a big, expensive, beautiful cinematic trailer. But that's just me. FYI, don't forget about the pre-order bonus. Three awesome cars, three sweet new weapons, part of the family kickback pre-order bonus, and Mafia 3 coming to Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC October 7th, 2016.